get it. So let's reset that and try. Of course, it didn't work. I don't know. You get the occasional person that sets it, so you get the what the. Oh, there we go. Ah, my foot. Uh, foot's asleep. Ow. Okay, that's better. Maybe we can use like a knife or something to. Forks, spoons, knives, nothing unusual. I'm gonna start exploring a bit more. Hold on. Open these up. Nothing there. I already took out the bin anyway. No, that's probably just a sink thing. Not hungry nor desire to cook anything. Not hungry nor desire to cook anything. Ah! What if I have hints in here or something? And where the heck is that laptop? Okay, that doesn't end, doesn't do anything. Um, hmm. maybe there's something under the table. Nope, doesn't look like it. Can I turn this on? Probably not. Can I close the curtains? No, I can't. And apparently this girl is a wuss and cannot jump for her life. <sighs> you disappoint me. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Where is this bookcase? else here. Ugh. Okay, so hour hand is four, minute hand is one. So I had it right, but there's nothing exciting on those shelves. And it did say the right. So maybe it's the other right? I have no idea. I am very confused. Maybe it's this one. So, fourth row up and nope. Buddhism. Mystery of the atom. History of the world! Uh, nope. Nope. And it did say left to right, so those are all Theodore Kaluza. Something about fifth dimension. Oh! Oh, is that where this is going? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, I saw something about correct book. The hell was that? Oh. What? That doesn't make any sense. Copy the marked text on my notebook. But hold on, hold on. Look at the clock, hour will tell you the row number from below to above, and... What? A minute's what book to read from left to right. Oh, wait a minute. I was thinking one, not five. Ah! I'm a dumbass. Okay, now it makes sense. Let's check out the uh, physics book. Physics book, a point in space shouldn't, wouldn't cast any shadow then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Huh? Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Lastly, we can imagine the shadow of a 4D object. Okay, third dimension, second dimension, fourth dimension object, five dimension, counting time as a dimension. Being a... Huh? being a what? The rest of the text is struck and in a margin a question mark is drawn. Eh? I am so confused right now. I don't need to keep reading that book anymore. Okay. So that was 
odd indeed. Is there anything in here? That I missed or something? Oh wait, whoa, 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 what is this? What is that? Just close, okay. For a second I thought it was a laptop. But no, I was wrong. I'm just being a doofus. I'm seeing things. I wonder, do we have anything that could break that? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Forget it then. I'm going to close this door. Because I've seen plenty of Let's Plays and can't reach it. Well then, take the damn thing. And I can't use it. Wow. Those are some very interesting toilets. No handles. Maybe they're automatic. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm stuck. And I don't know what to do. Anything behind there? Nope. But at least we have the notebook mystery solved. So it was on the second floor, not the first floor. Maybe I'll make some edits to that. It's a friggin' wood floor. Can I interact with it at all, or...? Grandma's note, blah blah blah. What was the point of that page, though? Wait a minute. Maybe that's the code for... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Physics book. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. 4D, 5D. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. There's only five. There's five things, not... Crap. Wouldn't cast any sh... Oh! Okay, what was it again? Hold on. Okay, so... Zero... Three, two, four, five. Zero, three, two, four, five. So one, two. Zero, three, two, four, five. Three, two. One, two, three, four. Square. Nope, that didn't work apparently. Damn it! Uh, I have no idea what the hell's going on. Hold on. Let me try again. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Ugh, I'm so confused. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, hmm. Pretty grass, though. I mean, come on, you gotta admit, that is some very nice looking grass. Looks almost edible. Moo, I'm a cow. Nom 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 nom. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Enough acting deranged. Um, I think I have use around here that I can... Uh, okay, so much for the bars. I can reach right through. Well then, um, hmm. Maybe it's backwards, I don't know. Yeah, that didn't work. I am... I don't know. Because it was 3, 2, 4, f one, 0, 3, 2, 4, 5, right? I mean... A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow, then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D object reflects it. Reflects? What? 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Lastly, we can imagine the shadow of a 4D object. 5D command, counting times the dimension being a. Wait a minute. Hold on just a sec. Okay. So nothing. And a point. Then a line. Then. Then this, I think. And that. Ha ha! I fixed it! I. Whoa! Okay. 
Haha, <laughs> I opened the lock. A mower. And a demolition hammer. Perfect. I can now... Hold on. I'm full, though. I'm gonna drop this. Drop that. Drop that. Hold on. Holy moly. Um. Sorry, Grandma. I will put these in the sink. Boy, that door had a vengeance. <laughs> nope, wrong thing. Okay. So take this, drop, 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 drop. Okay. Whoa. No, whatever. Where'd the glass go? Just frickin' disappeared. Oh, there it is. Okay, whatever. I think it looked like a murder took place in here. <laughs> anyway. Grab the demolition hammer, now that I have solved it. That was an interesting little puzzle. Get me thinking. Whoops, wrong thing. Okay, so. Use. Can't. Huh? Whoa. A battery for laptops since when my grandma has a laptop. So apparently, granddaughter did not know that there was a laptop. I keep forgetting. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now we use this. Use. Why can't I use it? Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Use? Uh, doy? Oh, wait a minute, I can mow the lawn. Use. Use some more. So, it's just this one part, huh? Then I shall use this. Why can I not use it? Whoa, what the... The hell is this? Okay, what is this? Jewelry box note. If you're reading this note, I left my will with the notes and puzzles. That will help you understand. Search the clock for a key. Physics book. I am very much confused. What is going on? Okay, so nothing in there. And there's apparently a lock on this thing. Uh, maybe I make a question mark or something? I, didn't, I don't even know. That didn't work, apparently. Okay, so let's just try random things. I, I am giving up on that. So, I just had an idea while I was working on that. We have a demolition hammer now, and there is a brick wall upstairs that we hadn't seen before, so maybe we can use the demolition hammer on that. Well, I wasn't here last time. So, well, hold on. Eh. So, use. This should work. Ha ha! I have, whoa. Where'd that come from? A hypercube? What the hell? Holy shimoli. Lots of puzzles. I am not working on that. Dimension leak. In the fifth dimension, time is perceived the same way that in the fourth dimension. Huh? That discards the possibility of entities can be reflected in the future, but it is right to think they can see our past as reflections. Although there's no way they can enter in them, just in our present. Also, there's no doubt they can see through objects, or in other words, they can see each side from an object without even rotating it. The only thing they need to come here is concentrate energy so they can visualize a point in space-time and reflect themselves. Obviously the entity must be in a close distance to pre perceive the energy that will serve as a link. This will help understand better. Past, present, all that good stuff. Wah wah. Very strange. Uh, I have no idea what that's talking about. No clue. So 
So let's just forget about that and go upstairs. Wow, this is high up. I do not remember seeing a third story from where I was. Up in that garden. There w Huh. Weird. Don't remember a roof being here either. This is very interesting indeed. Cardboard boxes. Old stuff. Maybe there's something useful here. I can, like... Can I get any closer? Nope. Apparently not. If I can... Crouch down and... Bingo! I found batteries. Awesome! Even if I keep searching, I won't find anything else here. There's tons of stuff there! Oh my gosh. Sense makes none. Okay. Use with flashlight. Put the batteries in the flashlight. The flashlight is now functional. So, let's use this, I guess. Flashlight is on. Flashlight is off. Very nice indeed. A projector. Turn on. Turn off. Holy shamoly. What is going on here? Turn that off. That is, wow. <laughs> um, okay. What's going on here? Middle drawer. Hmm, it needs a key. Interesting. What the hell is this? It's weird. Open, nothing. It's struck. It has some scratches of someone wound up something from within desperately. Interesting. Dimension scheme. Holy crap. Dimension 3? In the fifth dimension, they can see all and through lower dimensions. Are they able to see our past or even our future? Dimension 2? Dimension 1. The circle of our visible dimensions and time as we grasp it? It is logically correct to think that a fifth dimension object can reflect its shadow in our dimension. Wow, this is trippy. Okay, then. So remember that this drawer is broken up. Good to know. Anything else useful? Nope, apparently not. Okay, what is this? Turn this baby on. So turn on, thank you. Hey, hello. Thank you. Lag fest. What is that? That is, what is this? This is very strange. I have no idea. Okay, let's just turn it off. Ugh, weird. Frames, old wooden frames. Old wooden frames, awesome. Well then, that was very interesting indeed. Hypercube. Okay, so nothing new there. Hold on a sec. Okay, so nothing new there. What the hell is with those notes upstairs? This is very strange. Hold on, do I have anything that's useful here? Nope, wrong thing. Okay, I still have that sledgehammer. Yeah, why am I carrying three bins? That... <laughs> I'm a little eccentric. I like my bins. What can I say? Okay, so dimension scheme. Three, two, four, one, five. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeesh. Leave. Uh, so confusing. If I can get up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, four, five, right. So, what the hell is all of this? I wonder if this has to do with the dimensions and stuff. So, the, whoa. Whoa, what the hell is going on? 
I do not even know what's going on. Uh... What? <laughs> I am super lost. What is going on here? Maybe that, and then we do... No, that's not what I meant. Stop it! What are you doing? <laughs> this makes no sense. Okay, let's try that. Maybe that? I don't, I don't even know. Ugh, so confusing. Ah, what am I doing? Keep clicking. Let me try this thing. Maybe. Hello? Oh, work, thank you. Um... Let's go with a lightning bolt. That didn't work. Okay, forget it, because I'm not going to figure that out anytime soon. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Maybe this is a clue. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, this is very confusing, I must say. Oh, uh, jeez. Mm, what am I even doing? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this I don't, I don't even know. What is going on? Just unhook all these so it's not weird when we try it again. So can we save? We can save the game. Awesome. So I'm going to be saving it here. And, uh, yeah. I am very much confused. We've made some progress, though, I must admit that. We definitely made some progress. I'm starting to understand this stuff now. Though what I still don't understand is how to get through that one, uh, thing. Or to how to open this hypercube. Because this just makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, no sense. Okay, so the phone is ringing on time, of course. So I am going to be ending it here, and I hope you all enjoyed a Let's Play of Heritage. At least the first episode of it. So, yeah. Well, apparently this phone call is not important anyway, so just forget about it. But I am still going to be cutting off here because I'm kind of, like, out of time. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode of Heritage. And expect some more in the future. That will be fun. So, toodaloo. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And in the next episode, we will figure out how to do this. Maybe. And, uh... If you guys have any hints, if you've played this game before... And you have some hints for me that I can use. Don't actually tell me the combinations for anything because I will absolutely hate that because I consider those spoilers. And spoilers are never fun for a game. Especially when you're doing a Let's Play and there are thousands of other people that are trying to enjoy the mystery of everything as well. So if you could, like, give me hints for stuff instead of telling me outright, definitely appreciate that. And, yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.